and going over some of the items that we'll have upstairs, and then we'll have our swearing-in ceremony. Mayor, did you want to, everything we have on is just the resolutions uh, that'll be upstairs. First, I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year. Thanks for getting up early. Um, is uh, Corporation Council here? Ed, do you want to come? Do you want to come forward? Please. Um, first, the banks. These are standard. We're not changing anything, right? We're not raising anything to the wheel. I guess. Right? No, these are all the banks we currently use. Routine, who's going to uh, take number one? Darren? I'll do uh, newspapers not changing, Anthony? Nope, they're all the same uh, papers, both uh, the Spanish and the low Ms. Miss Talbot? The order of precedence? Um, That's number one. Oops. Yeah, I'm a are we starting from number one down, or are we going out of order? Yeah, they're, at, um, yeah, they're different on the work session, sorry. Oh, okay. uh, going off the, uh, the I think, yeah, he's right. just, uh, you're going off the work session agenda, correct? I am. Um, we have a new agenda? Okay. Well, are, they, are they different in here? I believe they're yeah. different on the, resol on the uh, council calendar. So on the inside, that's going to be number one. Yes. Right. Upstairs, it's going to be number one. Then the uh, designation of banks would be what number, Anthony? Um, designation of banks is number two, which was Councilwoman Talbot. Newspapers is number three, which was Councilman Rigger. Okay, and banks. Oh, yes. You're number three. Number three. Uh, the finance resolution? Uh, going to be number five. Uh, the appointment of city judge is going to be number four. Yeah, do you have the... Uh, I'm just going off the committee of the whole. <laughs> yeah, if you look inside the... I'm working off this meeting here, but that's okay. Um, just wanted to go over, because I'm going down the list for this meeting, because I want yeah, to they, they should have been talk about some of these items. Okay. okay. So we'll get our act together. Uh, so number one, the order of precedence. Uh, who's doing that? Who's making that motion? Darren? Uh, you have to do number three, which papers? Yeah. Unless you want me to do number one. Well, who wants to do number one? Okay. Do it. Now I'm working off the organizational meeting. So number two, the designation of banks. Darren? Yep. Official newspaper, that was Kathy? Yep. Um, I was the bank, sorry. I, I thought so, but let's, let's keep it this way because <laughs> let's just get our acts together. Thank you for being there, there Mayor three. Foster. I'm doing number three. Got Appointment it. of City Court Judge. Ms. McKenzie? sought to stay the actions of the 2013 Common Council and did not extend 
to the, to, to the 2014 Common Council, so we are clear to act. Has anybody um, been in touch with anyone from the court? Yes, to... Mayor. Uh, we have, when we received um, the letter from counsel for the petitioner. That's the Scott Hirsch letter. Scott Hirsch letter, that is correct. We, I, I emailed a copy of the letter to co-counsel in White Plains. <laughs> Co-counsel in White Plains hand carried the letter over to Judge Cacase. And uh, that was that was either late Thursday, I'm sorry, either late Monday, or that was completed either late Monday or early Tuesday morning. I had nothing since. Okay, now on the um We'll talk, since we're talking about the judge resolution, I plan, no matter who is going to be designated, to recuse myself. I'm a practicing lawyer in this town. I've been a practicing lawyer for 32 years. And I don't want to appoint any judge because I don't want to have a, uh, a conflict with any judge against me or my law firm. Um, so regardless of who it would be, I plan to recuse myself except in the case of a tie. It doesn't <laughs> look like there's going to be a tie here. But um, I am going to recuse myself for that reason alone. Um, the second thing that I wanted to bring up is that the myself and Mr. Torres and Mr. Bessie, newly elected, we haven't even taken our oath of office yet. We did not partake in the interview of this candidate, uh, or any of the candidates for that matter. Um, the court has held that the prior counsel did not have the legal authority to make that appointment. So that entire process, I feel, was uh, jump-started, and we're coming in at the very tail end. I don't think, I would ask, this council to shelve that motion at least for one work session so we can meet the candidate, um, meet the candidates, review their um, resumes, their backgrounds, and make an intelligent decision on this. By going forward with this without giving us the opportunity to do that, or I'm speaking for myself at this point, without giving um, me the opportunity to do that, I would not be in a position to vote on this uh, motion because I don't know anything about Mr. Johnson. I only know Bill Maher because I practice in the, in the local city court, but Mr. Torres and Mr. Vesey don't, but they can speak for themselves. So I would ask that this motion be pulled from today's uh, agenda to the committee of the whole meeting on Monday and then put on for the next uh, regular meeting. That's my position on that. I just think that, you know, it's a, it's a new day. It's a uh, New Year's Day, it's a fresh new year, it's a great opportunity for the city to start fresh um, with a new council, a bipartisan council, and um, we can really send a message to the city that we're going forward, uh, looking forward uh, with uh, full, um, all of our elected officials, all of our city staff, and new city judge, because right now there's a vacancy. Um, so rather than start the year with a vacancy, we'd start the year with a full compilation of all of our city staff and a brand new effort for the entire city. So I think that we should move forward and get this out of the way and go ahead and vote and have ourselves a new judge. But you haven't addressed the issue that I've raised, and that is the new count, the newly elected officials have not had a chance to partake in this uh, discussion of this appointment. This isn't an appointment of a building inspector. This is a 10-year term to a very important uh, position. Um, I, I'm going to ask, was there a confidential background check done, and could we get a copy of that right now before we go upstairs? Was there such a background check done? No. Is that a requirement? He is a county attorney. He's the assistant county attorney. He has been for 12 years. He's a published attorney. He's practicing in New York State for 12 years. Uh, well, that's, that's a requirement, right? No, actually, five years is the requirement. So five years is the well requirement over. for local judge. He's been practicing 20, and he's the assistant county attorney under Rob Astorino for the last four and for the last uh, eight years prior under Andy Spano. I would assume that the county would have done, uh, uh, certainly wouldn't have their assistant attorney um, in any type of a conflict situation. <laughs> yeah, but we don't know that because you're just telling us this for the first time. This is exactly what I'm um, hearing because um, of all people, Councilman, Councilwoman Claxton, you've mentioned on numerous occasions um, a familiar refrain that when you were first elected to the council, uh, decisions were spoon-fed to you. You were not allowed to partake in, in that process. And uh, don't you get the feeling that you're kind of doing the same thing to the newly elected officials no, by pushing actually, this? Excuse me. Let me just finish. Okay. That you are pushing this uh, appointment <laughs> under these circumstances 
when the, the um, newly elected officials 